Hi, my name is Andrew Wong, and I am a professor of medicine in cardiology at Duke University Medical Center, where I direct our hypertrophic cardiomyopathy clinic. Today, I'm going to be talking about what is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy as an introduction to the condition and some basic facts that we think every patient should know about this condition. What is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a common heart disease that involves thickening of the heart muscle of the main pumping chamber of the heart called the left ventricle. A normal left ventricle, the wall thickness is about one centimeter in all areas of the heart. But in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, we typically define it as thickening greater than 1.4 centimeters in any part of the heart, and it can vary which part of the heart is involved. Why does HCM have so many different names? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most commonly used name for this condition now, and it's often abbreviated as HCM. In the past, there was a term called IHSS, which stood for idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis, which is a mouthful to say, so uh, we've gotten rid of that term, also because it's often confused with another type of heart condition. Some patients will often hear the term HOCM, or H-O-C-M, which is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. That term refers to a subset of patients with HCM who have outflow tract obstruction, so the O is for obstruction, but that doesn't apply to all patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So the broader, more general term we like to use now is HCM, or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And you'll hear that abbreviation throughout these interviews. How is HCM defined? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM, is defined as thickening of the left ventricular wall of at least 15 millimeters or more in any region of the heart that is not explained by another heart condition. For example, some patients who have high blood pressure may have some thickening of the heart, but typically not to the level of 1.5 centimeters. Even well-trained athletes can develop some thickening or hypertrophy of the heart, but again, not to that level. So it really is an abnormal degree of thickening relative to any other condition. Is HCM common? HCM is actually very common. Uh, you'll often hear patients say, oh, I, I didn't know it was as common as it is. In multiple studies, it's been found to affect about one in 500 persons. And those studies were based on doing echocardiograms or heart ultrasounds on patients or people in the general population. It actually may be even more common than that uh, if you count patients who have positive genetic test results. So just in the United States alone, we're talking about over half a million people with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. How is HCM diagnosed? There are three ways that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is often brought to medical attention. The most common way, I would say, is if a patient develops symptoms, heart-related symptoms. Typically, shortness of breath with activity, chest discomfort with activity, fainting or near fainting spells, or palpitations, which is the sensation of the heart beating irregularly or fast. I would say that's the most common way that the condition is diagnosed. Another way that it can be diagnosed quite commonly is just by routine physical exam or an EKG, where the patient feels fine, but something is seen on the EKG or a murmur is heard on physical exam that leads to an echocardiogram that shows hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The final way that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can be diagnosed is with a positive genetic test. And we often use that in screening family members of people with HCM where they have a genetic mutation but may not even have thickening at that point. Is HCM a serious condition? Can it be life-threatening? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy has a very wide clinical presentation. The majority of patients actually live a normal lifespan and may not even be symptomatic, and that's why it may be as common as one in 500 persons because those people haven't even seen a doctor about this. But there is a group of patients, a smaller group of patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy that may have 
clinically significant and sometimes serious complications. And that's why really for every patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is recommended that they are evaluated for those types of risk factors that may lead to more complications in the future. What should I know before seeing a cardiologist about this condition? The first time a patient goes to see a cardiologist about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, I think there are actually four important considerations. Number one is the confirmation of the diagnosis. There are other causes of thickening of the left ventricle, and it's very important that the diagnosis is correct because it may affect future treatment and prognosis. And so the first question really is, do I really have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or is there some other cause for the thickening of my heart muscle. Uh, number two is the um, uh, uh, risk stratification. So in some patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, they may be at higher risk for serious complications, including life-threatening heart rhythm problems or sudden cardiac death. There are very well-recognized risk factors for this complication, and so we always would like to screen patients for those risk factors because there are effective therapies to prevent that serious complication. The third issue is symptom management. So if a patient is going to see the cardiologist because they're having shortness of breath or chest discomfort, it's important that all of the options for treating those symptoms are discussed. And this uh, symptoms may be managed with something as simple as a single medication, but in more severe cases may require even surgery. The fourth and final consideration for every patient is family screening, family counseling, because hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is oftentimes a genetic condition that may be inherited and passed on. We do recommend screening of immediate family members for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Why do I need this app? We're developing this app to improve the education of patients who have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or may have it, or a family member has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We've looked and we feel like there were not enough resources at the patient level to provide the type of information that every patient should know. And hopefully, with a greater understanding of the condition. The patient is more reassured about their condition or knows what to ask their doctor when they see them about it and knows what the treatment options are because there really are a great number of treatment options for patients these days with this condition.